Hi, this is Sam Hain, and um, I have bad news for you. Uh, tragic news is like in the game world. A uh, 17 year old was killed by police because they say he had a gun, gun in his hand, but he actually had a Wii remote in his hand. I, I'm reading the story so you can get the idea what I'm talking about. The family of a 17 year old was shot and killed by a police officer has hired an attorney, and they said he had a, a remote control in his hand. They said it was not a gun. Christopher wrote, 17, was an ROTC in Woodland High School and wanted to join the Marine. His friends said he looked after them. He was a good kid. He always hung out with me, and he took up for me, said William Carson. Root young life in a Friday night when police officers showed up at his door, at his home, and Eagle, Eagle View Mobile Home Park to serve probation violation of warrant for his father. The female officer, the female officer, a female police officer, told GBI investigators that Rope pointed a gun at her when he opened the door. It just it doesn't add up, uh, said Cole Law, who is re represented the Root family. Law said Root was about to watch a movie. We don't know where that statement came from. The eyewitness on the scene clearly stated that. He had a, a Wii remote in his hand. He heard a knock at the door. He asked who it is. There was no response, so he opened the door. And upon opening the door, he was immediately shot in the, in the chest, Law said. Neighbors said they ran to his home after they heard the shot. When we got up there, they said there was a, re, re, there was a re, Wii remote in his hand when she shot him, said Tina Howell, who lived a few downs. The blue door down. Uh, neighbor Ken Yanks said he saw the female officer moments after the fatal shot. This is tragic. She came out the house. She put her hands over. Her, she put her head in her hands and she was sobbing. Supposedly he opened up the door with a BB gun. And in my opinion, I think he was playing a, a game with his neighborhood buddies. Said Yanks. The officer is on mystery and leave and. Administrative leave, which is standard procedure after officer involves after a officer involved shooting. The GBI said the autopsy is complete and they will turn all turn over ever. The GBI said the autopsy is complete and they will turn over evidence to Cherokee Judicial District Circuit uh, District Attorney Rosemary Green Office. The funeral for Roop is planned for Friday. How can you uh, mistake a gun, I mean, a, a Wii remote for a gun? It just, it, it what, it, was, was they, I, I guess he had a black, re, a black Wii remote. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I watched the video and it, it said that, and they never said what color it was or nothing like that, but. He was about to play the game, and he had a re I, I, you hold a remote, you hold a Wii remote in your hand like this, and it'd be sticking out just like this. But I got a Wii remote right here. I can show you how it probably was when you got when you had it. He probably had it like this. Let me see when he came to the door. He probably walked the door just like that, and like it, and they were sticking it for a gun, but it's still kind of hard. To understand that uh, why I couldn't mistake it for a gun, cause you could tell a Wii remote from a gun by the way it look. But then again, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure, but I guess it possibly could happen. But it, it must have been at night. The only way it could happen, it had it had to happen at night. So you couldn't you couldn't be able, be able to see the gun the the remote too good at night. I'm not putting no blames on nobody, but I guess the uh, female officer regrets doing it because she was uh, sobbing for her, her hand in her hands. She was sobbing. I guess she made a, a fatal mistake, and um, I guess she acted upon act too quickly to actually realize that he had a. Uh, a, a Wii remote in his hand, which is one of these. Everybody know, know what this is. Um, 
and um, it just don't make sense. Uh, it had to be at night because that's the only way you could probably mistake it in the dark. But you know, I still don't understand. And um, they all they all in mystery and leave. I'm just looking at this remote. That's all. Just looking at. It. I wonder why it's so dirty looking and like half melted. I don't like when people treat my weed like that. Messes up. But um, the evidence, uh, this evidence should come out. If if they have another part to the story, I I get to it. And um, like I said, it's very tragic to hear stuff like that. People getting shot for uh, something they don't have, like uh, a kid gets shot because he have a toy gun, a person gets shot because they have a Wii remote in their hand. It's, what's society coming to? What is they coming to? Every cops is getting all trigger happy now. What? It, it just, it don't make sense. She was delivering the, the warrant paper to the house. And um, and she fired on on him. She was her hand on, on she was hand on her hip like this. You know, he had to hand the holster. She was hand like that when, she, when he opened the door. All oh, nigga, pow. And I gotta say that yeah, there, there's still some suspicious in a way of this of this. It's, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's just strange. It's a strange case. It's, I guess she realized she made a mistake. You can't take that mistake back. Once you make that mistake, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. She'll be haunted for that for the rest of her life of, of shooting the kid. 17 year old, he won't be in the middle uh, Marines and everything. Like I said, they, they get trigger happy. It seems like nowadays, I, I've been reading so many stories, the police just open fire on people for no reason a lot of times lately. And they're going to be big girl right there. And, um. Hi, it's just them just saying hi. And it's just, you know, it's just crazy. The police is going crazy, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but don't have when the police open you open the door. Don't have a wee remote in your hand, or you'll get shot. I uh, just Sam Hain saying, "Metal rule, game rule forever, and rule the world." Arrgh.